What is going on everybody? This is Googie123 here and I am back with a brand new review again. Um, I am up in Maine right now. Um, it's actually really, really cool and I have a heck of a machine to review. Um, basically a tutorial of um, how to run this thing and stuff like that. Okay, so I have a 50cc quad right here and it's an Outlaw Polaris. As you can see, the Outlaw 50. Um, right there, it's a bit sunny out, so you can't, I don't know how well you can see. I mean, it's just a walk around. We got, um, a suspension bar, and we got a kickstart, um, as well as the, of course, electric start right there. We got a horn, emergency start stop button right there. We got suspension there, and we got another set of suspensions, and the battery charger right here, and then under carriage battery right there. Let's jump on this thing. So here um, is going to be your engine oil dipstick, right on the side, it unscrews like that, and then there's the dipstick. Let me screw that back on. It's full of mud because I was on it. Okay. So then if you lift this red button up, like so, your sheet's going to come off. And your toolkit is right there. And your air filter is right there. Okay, you can see the clip. And then when you hit that red button, that's what's moving, okay? So, easy to just put back on. Slide the slots in. Now you have to put it in all the way or else your seat will be wiggly. All right, so let's jump on this thing, okay? Here's your fuel cap. We'll actually start on this side. So here's your one first brake, parking brake, which is engaged. If you pull that brake, it's going to pop up. But then if you pull that brake again, and then it just pops right down. Okay, It's really sunny, so you can't really see. But here's your key, your ignition, right there. So there's your key. There's the key to the quad. Okay. Here's your safety tether. Um, if you're not sure what a safety tether is, um, basically if you fall off you're going to wear this. You can see the velcro band right here and if you fall off and if this black thing comes off it's going to kill the engine. Um, another feature is your emergency start stop button as well as a horn on top. We have your engine start stop button and as well as mm -hmm. your um, choke right here so that kind of moves around so there's a choke okay over here you have the throttle your parent adjustable speed limiter a screw would go in there um, I took mine out it actually fell out but this has a top speed of about 15 miles an hour but when you're actually on the quad it feels a bit faster okay you have your brake um, adjustments as well as your other brake. Now this brake does have adjustments, you just can't see it. This brake, you, you can adjust this brake. You have a brake drum adjustment um, right there. Okay, your kick start. I don't use kick start, I use my electric start, okay? So how to start this thing? Alrighty, is you're gonna turn the key right there. You're gonna turn the key. You're gonna switch your emergency start stop button to on. And then you're just going to, when you have the parking brake on, actually, I'm not even going to, let me take out that parking brake. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the brake, and at the same time you're hitting the brake, you're going to press that button, and she's going to start right up. Like so. Now this does have front and back lights, um, and 
Fortunately, um, I, my bulbs are out, so I do have to change those. Um, once you start it, you got to give it a little gas to let it start up. And then we'll use your emergency start stop button to shut that off. Okay? Do so you have a, your emergency start stop button as an option? Or turn your key to off. Okay, so there's two different ways you can um, shut it. Three different ways actually you can shut it off the tether, your emergency start stop button, or your ignition key. Alrighty, so we do have one more thing to go over. Um, here is your gas, okay? So right now it's on. This up to here is off, and then up to there is reserve. Thank you guys for joining me in this um, Outlaw 50 review. Um, you can buy this at your um, local out, uh, Polaris dealer. Um, again, if you buy one at um, a Polaris dealership, you can always, it does come with a helmet. Um, that helmet is did not come with this because I got this thing used. Um, other than that, this is a great quad. Um, do recommend it for the little kids. Um, it's for six and up, um, not six and under. So I just do want to make that clear. Here's a warning sign. It says under six with a cross mark on it and stuff. Please read all the labels before you are jumping on this quad and about to go. Hope you guys this hope this review helped you guys out today, and I hope to see you guys later. Peace. Woo!